Hi, I'm an instructional designer who creates medical courses. This case study is on me because I have been diagnosed positive twice in last one year, unfortunately. And fortunately, I have recovered uh, pretty fast without any complications. This video is intended to make audience realize that most of the COVID-19 deaths are because of ignorance, overconfidence, on own immunity and body people who constantly stayed around COVID-19 patients and survived because they took precautions in time did right treatment did not panic and assisted their body to heal rather than putting their body under more stress so let us understand how to survive this COVID-19 understand the testing mechanism most reliable COVID-19 infection test, which is the reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, is qualitative detection of nucleic acid from, you know, the virus uh, in upper and lower respiratory specimen collected using you know, nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal swabs you know from your nose and bulk cavity this is the gold standard but still not 100% accurate so what is done uh, in RT-PCR PCR machine uh, is called thermal cycler now a uh, chemical solution is used to extract RNA from the sample then that RNA is transcribed to DNA using some enzyme after that short fragments of DNA that are complementary to specific part of transcribed DNA are added to this DNA. Those fragments attach themselves to the DNA in the sample. Now after that, it is put into thermal cycler and million of copies of the DNA is made. So the sample from the patient have many RNA which has been transcribed into DNA. Now any RNA uh, from the virus transcribed into particular DNA and then it would be copied under the thermal cycler machine. One of the chemical produces a fluorescent light if SARS-CoV-2 genome is present in that sample. That's how it is detected. So to keep it simple, the CT value that you read in the report is the number of cycles required to uh, detect the RNA in the sample so RNA has been transcribed into DNA so we can say the nucleic acid if uh, RNA is detected after 35 to 40 cycle that is still uh, considered negative because viral load is too low so um, the cutoff number is 35 to 40 depends on the country if a CT value is 25, that means the RNA has been amplified enough within 25 cycle for it to get detected. If it is 10, means nucleic acid has been detected much earlier, means viral load is too high or high. Now these are RT-PCR tests require some manual work by the microbiologist and they are nowadays overburdened. That's why some uh, mistakes on their part can actually uh, lead to false negative or higher CT value. Both are dangerous. Nowadays, people without training or people with very little training are collecting samples. So uh, any error during sample collection may lead to false negative or in, uh, you know, error in CT value. Testing multiple time is the key to get a right result. So what I want to say is better cautious than dead. If you have been in contact with COVID-19 patient having some symptoms, test multiple times if first time comes negative. Now when to take the test? If you are symptomatic, get tested. That is a no-brainer. If you come in contact with someone who have been tested with COVID-19 with moderate or high viral load get tested multiple times if required because you turn positive after three to five days from exposure so if you get tested immediately chances are you will be tested negative 
so test another time three four days later that happened in my case if you attended some gathering in a locality which reported many cases in recent times get tested if you had traveled in last few days in aircraft or bus or train it's better to get tested so how to survive covid 19 second and third wave first thing with virus mutating and turning more infectious and dangerous the only way to survive is to get tested and catch the infection early number two if you turn symptomatic suddenly do not rush to a crowded hospital or clinic try some online consultation app nowadays you can have a consultation with an expert through this kind of app and you actually skip the crowd in crowd you may get more exposure to this virus so avoid any crowd get online consultation number three keep few medicines at home which are commonly recommended i always keep ivermectin i don't recommend you but i found that effective as there are no cure symptomatic treatment is done so symptomatic treatment means uh, like treatment for controlling the mucus secretion antifibrotic anti-inflammatory medicines if lung went through fibrosis now many people don't find this kind of drugs during crisis so stock it up don't hoard it stock a little enough for your family if you have probably been exposed limit your further exposure means don't get further exposure to limit your viral load and get tested number five be positive and do breathing exercises in isolation isolation you isolate yourself from others and stay in well ventilated room panic actually causes short breathing so do breathing exercises and keep calm not only during covid post covid breathing exercise can eliminate chances of you know further complications for example i did spirometer exercise and a diaphragmatic breathing and it helped a lot and number six maybe the most important one mental health management positive mental health limiting exposure to negative social media and news meditation exercise can boost good hormone in your brain which helps to avoid uh, post-covid complications especially cardiovascular anxiety itself is bad but together with weakened immunity and residual virus it can break a havoc so you know follow some anti-stress or anti-anxiety uh, program or maybe follow some techniques for those meditate but keep yourself positive and manage your stress and anxiety level that would be good for you so what I want to say is prevention may not be possible in few days reason being uh, if this virus is already airborne and, and mutated versions are more infectious and they spread like wildfire. So proper management is the key proper management of mental health as well as physical health mental health through stress and anxiety management and physical health management means some breathing exercises and good diet taking all the medication prescribed by the doctor and stay positive that's all so be informed and be cautious don't take it lightly that's all